Join with audio and video. Hello. Hello. Jason was just like, and there's Molly, but we were muted, so I didn't do anything. <laughs> and I'm eating my first meal of the day. I already ate my first meal of the day. <laughs> and my, my second, potentially my third. Possibly my third. But I might have missed 11 Z's <laughs> somewhere along the way. <laughs> A bad day when you miss a lot of things. But second breakfast, I got it. Second. Oh, Molly, you wouldn't believe the amount of donuts that Dave Stark has brought into this office in the past two weeks. Oh, did he buy a donut shop or something? I don't know. But people, it was it was so big that it was one of the gratitude remarks yesterday at the team meeting. <laughs> Thanks, I'm like, Dave, Dave Stark I'm like, Dave, you weren't even donuts. there. <laughs> He's like, I do a little good donut. That's for right. sure. Maybe that's what we call him now. Hey, Dave Donut Stark. What a Dave <laughs> Donut Stark. You know what his 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 thing is is that his uh, uncle, his name his name is Tony Stark. Oh, <laughs> so on his on his uh, return address labels he has Iron Man's head, and he's like, yes, he oh, should. I mean, you're really missing an opportunity if you just ignore that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose you are. On the other side, I don't like Iron Man, <laughs> the Captain America guy, and we don't get along on the on the on the, on the surface. So, <laughs> you know, I'd be I, no, I don't want to deal with you. Mm -hmm. I'm not dealing with you. A billionaire philanthropist playboy is not my uh, not my way of dealing with folk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, let's see. We need Grace is coming on. I think she's gonna be a little late. Taylor was joining. Tom was joining. So, lucky you get to tell us how your and especially since you gave me the gift of time today. Yes, right. You welcome. Get to, you, you, yes, thank you. You get to tell us um, what was a win in the past two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Um, did I tell you? I think I told you. Yeah, because we talked about looking at comps that I've got, uh, I got my first senior client. Mm -hmm. So that's exciting. So um, that uh, has, uh, there's an agent I found that out of the Lake Philly Diner Realty office that is kind of in our vein. And she's a uh, senior move manager along with uh, the- I'll get Marissa. Uh, yeah, can you pick yeah, it up? With, uh, she's, yeah, with the- NASM, NASMM. That sounds fancy. Yeah, okay, doesn't it? And so I was National like, Association I'm, of Senior Move Managers. That is right. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> so I was just looking into that, seeing if that they have an opportunity to be um, not just a member, because I don't really want to be it, but I would like to connect yeah. with that group. But you can be a local what dosage. This is the connect. So I was thinking about joining in that sense because she's got really, she did really well in setting things up. So I was kind of cool. trying to hear some of her stuff that the way she yeah. phrases it and things. And so do you have any idea about like the value of being a member in that group? I am not familiar with the group, but maybe Jess is a Tell familiar me. with the National Association of Senior Move Managers. Oh, is it worth being a local Connect member? Um, well, like remember Debbie? Yeah, well, Debbie. Debbie, she's part of it. Yeah, um, I would assume so. Like her name is on a couple of those things, but I was uh, just talking about how I found a Lakeville uh, Diana Realty agent that is an agent, obviously, and a uh, senior move manager, and she's a member of this uh, group. I was just wondering if it added some validity to mm. to me or not. Yeah. Um. The only thing I would wonder about is like, would that be like confusing as to what you do, you know? Right. And cause she has, she kind of sets it up on the, like she, she almost like back pedals her uh, real estate piece. She just kind of throws it in like, and you know, aftercare, you know, I can list your house. <laughs> yeah. Right. She really tells the front end of it. So yeah. So it's, right. it was just a thought today. Yeah. And how much is it? 
Five hundred bucks a year. Oh. A year? No. Yeah. Not worth it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> dollars for sure. It's totally worth it. Forty <laughs> bucks a year? Maybe. Well, that's yeah. That's I appreciate the feedback because I wasn't sure if it was you know worth it, and I was looking at some of that like SREI stuff, the institute, and yeah, that seems intense, and I was like, oh, huh. right. Well, that's easy. No, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right, um, Amy, tell us a win. Um, well, I'm sitting at my desk and it's super organized that I've been wanting to do for ever. Hey. <laughs> it's been driving me nuts. So like my paperwork is like organized, but that is jealous. Um, the other thing, um, I don't, I met, a couple people with the open house I did last week. No, nothing, nothing really has come of it yet, but I'll just kind of keep following up. I met really nice neighbors. So I'm like hoping, you know, right. I keep in touch with them. They're not looking to move, but maybe they'll keep me in mind for right. <laughs> the future. Yeah. And open houses are becoming um, very hard to find. So um if you get one, that's, you know, it's even better. People are like, yeah. uh, Zyrene reached out to all the agents and, and they're like, um, well, it has 38 showings. So I don't think it'll make it to the weekend. Oh, like, yeah. oh my God. So yeah. yeah, but Irene and I are doing that now, like reaching out to other agents too. So just looking on MLS, see who's available. So, um, <clears throat> because it is, it is uh, becoming tricky. Yes. Amy, I have a question for you. When our kitchen at home gets cleaned and gets organized, it's usually because my wife's mother-in-law is there. Um, just throwing that out there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well. That's, that's when it gets cleaned, you know. I hear my you. desk gets cleaned uh, when I have to do, like, the go out and shovel the driveway so that's when my desk gets cleaned <laughs> well i should show you my my husband's he'd probably kill me right now but it's behind me and it's piled it's a mound there you go yes. well you know maybe invite your family down for a weekend and then right. get clean. well he's like oh nobody goes in this office we'll just shut the door <laughs> <laughs> except see we have a glass door so people right. can see it i was gonna say there is a there is a glass panel there so yeah, i can go in i have baseball bags in here so the whole room isn't organized it's just my space Come. <laughs> welcome to june come on in, right say it becomes the catch-all you know right yeah <laughs> come say hi you have you to said, say hi what have you, you guys in, done to intimidate john hi I Hi, I don't, I hope nothing. <laughs> I, I hope so too, but it's Jason that intimidates me. Oh, it's Jason. Can I share another one that has yes. to do with my other job though? Mm -hmm. We took the Littles on their first field trip ever oh. and they did amazing. Nice. So where'd you go? We went bowling at Bogart's. Oh, fun. That's so good because yes. because the littles where you work are not always. No, we've had lots place. of hitting and biting and kicking and. That and sounds like a had, good reason to go. We've had such safe behaviors. It's like we have come so far since September. <laughs> Yay. Um, That's so good. Yeah. That's exciting when that when that happens. My um, <laughs> when I was a teacher, I was first, second, third grade Montessori. The last year I was there, um, they called, my principal called me the cruise director because I took my students on 16 field trips. Oh, that's they awesome. Paid, they paid for one. Oh. I was like, we're getting this stuff for free. We're doing this. we got grants. we got all these things. we got pen pals. I brought kids to the movies for the first time in their life. See, that's, I know. I want to do that. I want to take them to um, Changing Red or... That one that's coming out about the red panda. Hmm. I don't know if you've seen it. It's about she yeah. turns into a red panda when she's really angry. So oh, I'm like, yeah. oh, this ties into what I'm right? teaching them. <laughs> this is right so. up their alley. Yep. Yeah. 
Awesome. That's well, so that does cool. sound like a big win. Yeah. Yeah. That is a big win. <laughs> Taylor, tell us a win. Um, I uh, I've got a new vehicle. It's um, I they called me after our, we got done talking, Jessica, and they are <laughs> they're putting it back together, and uh, it'll be ready for me to pick up hopefully today. Oh and I'll be mobile again. Right. Well, that's good. Yep, and. <laughs> uh, I made some connections with contractors, um, asked them to give me referrals, and then I would do the same. Nice. Um, yeah. Way to go. And you have a word. I do. My word right? is help. Yep. We're going to talk about this book. I already showed it to Grace and to Taylor. This is your next one. I know you probably haven't even read the Energy Bus yet, but this is... This is the next assignment. Um, okay. Once you get done with the energy bus, you'll have enough energy to read the next one. And it's by the same guy. Like, oh, what? Oh. This is by that. three guys. And one of them plays guitar for the Led Zeppelin. Jimmy Page. I don't, I mean, look, I don't think he does. That's him. It says Jimmy Page. I know it you says You can't Jimmy tell Page. me that in some ridiculous world, there's two people named Jimmy Page. I don't buy. It. There, There's only one. There might and if be. you weren't the Jimmy Page who played guitar for Led Zeppelin, you would change your name because you would not want anyone to ask you to play. I feel like I yeah. I knew his name was someone else's, but I didn't know whose. So I was like, Jimmy Page, why does that sound familiar? And now you've solved solved the mystery, the mystery for me. Thank you. Yep. All right. Grace, tell us something good. Um, I am going to have to think about that. Maybe we could come back to me. Yes. Did you have a vacation or something? Was it fun? Yeah, that's, I guess you could say that's a win. Yes, I was on a really good go. road trip and vacation. And tell them where you went. New York. Niagara Falls. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't the only place you went. Yeah. And that was like the main place. So that was, yeah, that I would consider that a win. That was really nice. So you had Canadian water sprayed in your face? Uh, no, I didn't get that close. Oh. Well, that's too bad. That seems like yeah. the whole point of going to Niagara Falls. Yeah, because it was winter, they had it blocked off, it seemed like. They had a lot of fencing around, um, a lot of snow. So uh. we'll back in the summer when it's a little bit better. Yes, you'll have to ride the Maiden of the Mist. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> you had another win that uh, your dogs did not eat the bath bombs that I gave you. Yep, that was, we dodged a uh, hospital trip and hospital bill. They really liked the bath bombs that Jessica gave me and- They looked like food, like candy, right? So Victoria and Olivia almost ate theirs. And I was like, alert, it will make you foam at the mouth like a rabid dog. And then Grace is like, um, my dogs actually tried to eat them. And I'm like, oh, now then they will foam at the mouth. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> Gentia, tell us something good. Okay, it's funny that you guys started talking about your dogs. I don't have like a, a win necessarily for like work related or anything, but yeah. so I have a Yorkie, uh, well, he's a Morkie, Maltese Yorkie, and we've had him for almost three years now. We got him when he was a, a baby, and but recently he started marking stuff around the house just randomly like he's very well potty trained but i'd wake up and i'm like does it smell like pee right here um so we um i bought him these little diapers like they little male doggy diapers where you just wrap it around their his waist um so we started using those at night like you know because we don't put them in a kennel or in yeah. a special room yeah. he just has free roam of the house um so he he's been wearing them for three days and last night he didn't use the bathroom in it so it's that's good for us. Like it, yeah he's like getting used to i don't know i don't know it was so random why he started just marking stuff um, my sister-in-law's dog did that too when they got another dog oh we don't have another dog we just but, got him. So 
I don't know, but that's a win for me. Um, because that's a total win. <laughs> that for sure. Because <laughs> if that's not happening, that is a nightmare. Like, yeah. Then you're looking at him. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, I was all mad at him and stuff, and I don't like. I feel bad being mad and yelling at him. So that's my little win. I, don't <laughs> I think all of us have dogs, don't we? We do. We can all relate. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, that is a that is a total win. How about you? What's your win? Um, I uh, it's taken something like sixteen years that we've lived in our house, but last week I stopped marking. No, <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. We're, we're very proud of you. It's a long time, but. Um, Yikes. Oh I've got people in the hall laughing. That's what you want. You want everybody oh my God. to have a good time. Um, <laughs> Thomas, uh, did you hear that? Did you hear that, Thomas? <laughs> Thomas is out at, the, out at the table laughing. It's a long way. I'm telling you. You make it carry. Oh my God. Um, I guess the thing I guess the thing I'm, I'm happiest about is, well, at some level, uh, my son is safely landed in Canada. Um, and we can literally track his flight because uh, his they, the government has not turned off the transponder on that flight, so we can watch him fly across the world, which is really crazy. Wow. I didn't know a person could do that. Wow! But you can actually track any flight that is currently in flight if you know the flight number and see exactly where it is, or you can just pull up the app or the website and just see all the planes, which is really crazy. <laughs> um, right. I'm super overwhelmed with this. So that's exciting. <laughs> and then on top of that. Uh, my oldest daughter, who is now 23, well, 22, she'll be 23 uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks, uh, got flowers for Valentine's Day. Oh, wow. uh, and that's really odd for her because her boyfriends generally are not nice people. So um, to see that happen is a really big deal. And I'm glad she's maybe picking and choosing a little bit better. Oh, right. he's, I... and he's a nice guy. We've actually met this one. So. That helps. Don't have to eat anybody up now, Jason. Um, uh, there are no strange dirt mounds in my backyard. I promise. <laughs> well, that's good. Um, <laughs> I'm still having a hard time getting over the marking comment. <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. <laughs> oh my God! Don't make it a thing if it's not. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I don't know if I got to tell you guys this last week. If we weren't on. Oh, um, I, my big win is that this module that we are talking about tonight, I am, have been asked by um, Molly herself um, to make a video of it. And I'm a little bit freaked out. Like I'm starting to sweat just thinking about it, but. Um, it's not the sweat that's the problem. Hey, Molly. Asked hey, Molly. You. Yep. She texted me last week and I was like, and she says, uh, hi, Molly, this, or hi, Jessica, this is Molly from KW Prep. And I was like, why do you have my personal phone number? Because everybody <laughs> uses Google Voice, right? And I was like, what's happening? <laughs> and so Olivia, I think, it was Olivia, gave it to her. And um, so she reached out and said, you know, we have this video and would love to have you um, uh, make a video on it. Or we'd love for you to do a video while you're in, in family reunion. And I was like, oh, okay. And I, you know, I was, of course, I'm like, yeah, 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 for sure. And then I'm like, wait a minute, who's seeing this and how long is it? And what am I doing? Like after I've already committed to everything. So, um, so it's not my job to memorize it. It's my job to internalize it. So that's what I'm going to be doing, um, in the next, um, till Monday, till I have to do the video. Congratulations. So thank you. That's awesome. So, so I said, you know, finally, when I met with Molly on Tuesday, I was like, so um, can you tell me like, where is this going to be? Like, what are we doing here? And she's like, well, you know, when you see the video of me and then there's the downloadable, well, there's going to be another thing that says a deeper dive and your video will be there. And so everybody will watch it forever. I was like, Everyone <laughs> will watch it. Make sure your hair is done right. Oh, right. Whoa. So. It's exciting. Hopefully they don't catch me marking in the background. <laughs> yeah, that will be bad. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So 
Um, so what I wanted to do was kind of tell you guys, since you can kind of be like my guinea pigs on what I'm going to say about it, um, because we're in module nine. So um, I have to find it first. And um, oh, okay. So I haven't, I haven't actually finished. Thank you. <laughs> I haven't finished the part, the momentum part, because she, the personal story, she's told me, um, okay, so you, you followed the directions. However, you gave them a call to action, but you did not tell, you didn't talk about you and all the other agents talked about themselves all the time and they didn't give any call to action. So we need you to do the, the reverse. And I was like, all right. So I'm just going to have to make up that part right here on the fly. And you guys can tell me what you think of it. So, um, all right, so here we go. Oops. Nice job. What? Okay. So this is kind of just, this is how it's going to be. Okay. Hey there, all you wonderful people. <laughs> Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I am so excited that you have decided real estate is your new path. My name is Jessica Nearing, and I have been an agent since 2013. I'm a productivity coach for agents that have decided to get into real estate. It is a huge passion of mine to teach and provide the resources for these new agents to become successful. I also run my own real estate team called True North Homes in Minnesota. I feel it is crucial for me to have my finger on the pulse of the real estate market so that I can best coach my agents. Momentum is a large part of the trajectory for your business. When you think about momentum, picture an object rolling down a hill and how it picks up speed the further it rolls. Okay, so now this is insert my personal experience example, right? Momentum has been super important to me. Uh, in September, I decided to challenge myself and start eating more healthy. And I have, as a result, um, with that momentum, now, when we come to February, I have lost 45 pounds. And I feel like if you focus on something, you really will be able to, okay, now that, now I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, all right. So we'll fast forward. <laughs> um, so that's what I have to work on is my personal story. Um, and I'm willing to take feedback if you guys have ideas on what's best to share that. Yes. So when you're talking about momentum, remember momentum is hard at first. Yes. So you want to talk about the fact that initially yes. it was difficult. And the first things were like, man, I'm hungry all the time. And I am so tired of Brussels sprouts and those kinds of things. But as time went, those things became more normal and easier. And that created momentum for you to go the next day. Yes, I was That's so tired of kale. I was like, you can somebody kale? please tell me that I'm allergic to this stuff? You did eat kale. I ate it morning, noon, and night. And that that was a lot of uh, momentum that needed to be built up to keep, keep that train going. And now I'm able to only eat two meals a day. And they are completely on the plan that I need to be on. And I've cut out sugar, gluten, and dairy from my diet completely. No okay. cheese? No cheese. Oh, you're done. Not even vegan cheese. That's not a thing anyway. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that's good. That's really good. Any Anybody else? Anything if there's such a thing add? as vegan cheese, that's just proof that you shouldn't be a vegan. I mean, give up cheese. Right, right. Or I agree. you can eat cheese. But I want to eat fake cheese. <laughs> Does it, I mean. See, now when I do this. On Monday, I'll be thinking of, why would you want to be a vegan? No, it's fine to be a vegan. It's just not why, fine to have vegan cheese why or would vegan you, bacon. That's what I mean. V right. Right. Either you want the bacon or you don't. Tofurkey. Either you want the turkey or you don't. Yeah, I agree. So, okay. All right. I got it. Anybody else have any comments here? Anything you think that would be, um, like, I guess my, my main question is when you think of the momentum of you starting your business, what is it that is like super hard? Because I want to apply, I want to, um, I want to talk to that point because these are going to be people who have never been in this field. I know <laughs> before. Right. And it's like, what do, what do they need to know? And the other thing that Molly was telling me is we really want you to 
um i don't remember you saying that be appealing to people right like like they can see themselves in what i'm saying right um so you're saying calls calls are hard that's what i was gonna say phone calls yeah and even and, mentioning it in like your conversations just to like in the community and feeling authentic and not uh, and feeling comfortable with it and not feeling like you're doing a sales pitch to the other soccer moms kind of thing mm -hmm. okay yeah, yeah networking i guess would that be considered networking too like we're going to um maybe like um i don't know some sort of some sort of place where you're setting up and you're talking about your business um so having the confidence to do that and speak mm -hmm. like your three what are the or what is the 30 second elevator speech like knowing what you're going to say to people when they're like hey like i'll tell you the there's only two out there right now but the pc agents um in the 5 30 class last week i said okay we're gonna go and we're gonna go into the all the rooms where people are doing their date night thing um and i want you to meet them and we're gonna start with her camps we're just gonna walk in there and i want you to walk up to somebody you don't know and start talking to them and jenny i hear under her breath a sweet baby jesus i'm like <laughs> okay so here we go we are practicing around people that are safe right the agents in this office are safe to do that with and it's a fear right so it's like what what's that momentum look like and by the last one everybody was comfortable everybody was talking it wasn't um as bad as they had feared right mm -hmm. so i think that yeah that's a really big one i Anything think else? like Perfection paralysis is uh, something to maybe address too. Of like, you don't have to be perfect to go. You just have to start, and you can continue to improve as you go. Yeah. Yeah. Most kids have never let that stop them from learning to drive. For example, <laughs> right? I mean, really. None of and, them. And, and on the that. other side, I want to point out that Taylor wishes it had one person. <laughs> and it one person right that's because they start out perfect remember in their right. minds right we don't know that is the crazy thing right i mean and i've always <clears throat> wondered that and it and it really has to do with mindset why do we think we're good at some things and not other things when our skills probably are the inverse oftentimes of what we expect like if we think we're good at something typically our skills aren't as good as we think and if we think we're bad at something usually our skills are much higher than we expect right right <clears throat> yeah you guys that was so helpful um okay molly one more time so perfection analysis you don't need to be perfect and then what did you say after that i uh, basically just the just just get started and start. you can continue to improve as you go just do it just do it. And like, that was the hardest thing for me. Like I really wanted it. I really wanted everything all done and together before I started. And then. Right now. So. Right. Yeah. Awesome. But I think you'll do a really good job. Your enthusiasm will come through and you're very relatable. And I think you don't have to stress out about it. I think if you just talk about it, your passion will come through and you'll do a great job. Oh, thank you. Oh, see, I can think of all of you when I'm doing that. So I was, Molly said, I want you to record it. And then I want you to listen to it, you know, like in a day, she goes, don't go crazy, but listen to it like, you know, three to five times. And then once you get down to Florida, I want you to just off the cuff, start saying it to random people. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, that's not going to make me feel awkward at all. So like, fine, I'll do that in the elevator. Here we go. So I'll start out. I'll start out. Hey, hey all there, all you wonderful, wonderful people, people in the elevator. <laughs> Tell me, like, oh gosh, she's with KW. <laughs> Hello, fellow citizens of the earth. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, okay, so here, let me keep going. Um, so back to real estate. Momentum will work for you, will work for you too, both in your personal life and in your growing business. The more you reach out to people you know and share that you are going to be getting your license, the more you will pick up speed in your business. 
you will start getting inquiries from people who want to use you as the real estate agent. The people who know and like you want to help you. Give them that opportunity. This can be done through your downloadable activity at that time blocks what you need to do each day for 10 weeks. And don't stop there. Keep this momentum going. You will be reaching out to people you know by calling, texting, and mailing them a card. Yes, with a stamp that's delivered to their home. When was the last time you received a card at your home? Besides Christmas? Probably not often. Must not have my car insurance agent. <laughs> You are planting seeds by letting them know you'll be getting your license and you want to keep and you want them to keep you top of mind. You'll consistently be growing your database and this is going to be your book of business. Follow the downloadable and keep up your with your daily time blocked schedule to keep your momentum going. Once it starts, you'll find it will be your biggest resource on reaching your goals. Congratulations on everything. You have a Oh, uh, sorry. Congratulations on everything you have accomplished so far. And here's to an amazing career with no limits. Okay. So, so that is it. And thank you so much for listening to that. And I am excited. And I'm also really glad that you guys shared with me because I'm going to work that stuff into it. So, so thank you. Um, so tell me um, from watching the video, and then looking at that downloadable. Um, and I know you guys, like when you look at the first one, right? It's like day one, you're gonna text one person and you're gonna call one person, right? Um, how does that look like? What does that look like for you when you look at that calendar? Let's say you were a brand new agent. Um, how does that, uh, I guess, how does that sit with you to be given that? Feels a little daunting, really. Like I, I feel like I would be like, oh, maybe ten cards. <laughs> you know, or that yeah. it just sometimes it's when it's too hard, then it's hard to start. Mm -hmm. And um, what did you think about the the fact that, I mean, it's something I noticed right away. It wasn't it wasn't five days a week. It was like six, seven. Or seven. It's, yeah, yeah. It's like every day. But yeah. So thinking I'm like, well, maybe I'll book in a few. <laughs> right. Because if you're doing open houses, right, then you get that in there and then you're learning with that curve. And granted, this is something that we're asking them to do before they're even licensed. Right. So it's just reaching out to them, planting that seed. Hey, I'm going to be getting my license and the baby steps. But I want to know what you guys actually think about about that timeline and that schedule. And if, um, do any of you have it like handy? And I could share um, share the screen. Do you guys all have it? Because then I don't have to share the screen. Um, you know. I have it. Okay. So um, just your feedback on it. It looks scary. Yeah, if this is for before I even get my license, I would yeah. be like, oh, <laughs> I feel really like what I wouldn't ever, that wouldn't be my style to tell somebody like, hey, I'm thinking about, you know, maybe get my license. I mean, it might just toss it out in the conversation, but it feels a little formal to like randomly send a card to my, you know, parents, neighbors. Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, it does seem like a lot too in my opinion. It seems well, okay maybe once maybe because it is full, like there's, yeah. because it is every day. Okay. But I also think it's interesting, like, it, I think it's good to bring up because I feel like, you know, starting out, like I just think of my, for the first classes that you take, like that's not the focus of, and then you know it's all the rules and to like people don't you don't really talk about what the lead gen part of this right and right so i think so i think in that way it's good to have that up front a little bit yeah because that's that is the one thing that um 
it doesn't happen is, you know, real estate school. They don't ever talk about lead gen, right? Which is why this whole no. program was created. And the other thing too is, you know, they're doing it from the, what is it? Like people say like the ivory tower, right? Like, like everything is pie in the sky, right? Like this is what we want you to do. And this is our, our suggestion. It, like our people, do people actually do it? Well, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure yes. Um, but to start out giving them, this is the, like, it's the same thing when I gave you guys those rainbow sheets and I'm like, okay, so this is the ideal scenario. You're reaching out to 10 people a day, 10 go in your database, you know, and eventually you're like, oh yeah, like now I have 200 in there or um, I've reached out to all my people because if it's like, well, like, what do you want it to be? Well, like people don't know. They're like, well, I mean, I don't know. Like I could reach out to like three a day. I'm like, right. I'm like th three. Okay. Um, this is your only job. So you're going to talk to three people, right? I don't want to put that across, but also I want them to know that they can hit any goals that they want if they talk to 10 people a day. Right. And I think that's probably what KW's their messaging is about. Um, and I just really like the feedback because then I can go to Molly and be like, okay, well, this is overwhelming. Like I've taught this to all my PC agents and it's a lot, right? Yeah, it, it's nice for like kind of an FYI. And in, and in that sense, I mean, like for like, hey, in the future, once you get through drinking from a fire hose for you know two months, then like you can focus on this. And then you handed out a schedule one time, like an idea, like a suggested daily yep. schedule. Yep. Like that would be nice to couple that with this and be like, once you get all of this stuff kind of set up, and then as you move towards like execution of the plan, here's this plan and then your schedule. And like, I think that would be really helpful, but I think I would. Yeah. Are you still talking? Cause all of a sudden. No, I just kind of stopped. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know, and I keep no, going I'm, on. I'm writing, I'm writing. Still have jobs, right? I mean, like they're still working full-time jobs. Yeah. And, I mean, a lot of them do. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. a lot of you guys do. Um, the good news is if you did only make three day, three calls a day over three months, it'd be 270 calls. Right. It's a lot of calls. The trick is most of the time we get hung up and think that motivation <laughs> is more important than discipline. And discipline, frankly, is often more mm -hmm. important than motivation. Motivation gets you started, discipline keeps you going. And that's really what momentum's about. If right. you find yourself a place making even three calls a day, it's not hard to keep making three calls a day. Um, and it's probably easy to pick up a fourth call after a while. Right, which I thought when I looked at that form, I was like, oh, well, that's obviously their goal, right? Except it went from day one was something and then day two like doubled it and then you know pretty soon it's like 10 and i'm like well that was fast right we went from do one and one and then all of a sudden we're like dude and i was like whoa that was a lot it's right? called exponential growth man right why the banks have money and you don't compounding interest right right because you pay compound interest on your loans and they give you simple interest on the money you put in the bank right right yeah and that's why I'm like, you have to allow like adequate time to make new habits. And I, you know, yeah. bef you know, and isn't it like three weeks or whatever to, you know, change a behavior or whatever. So, and I think these are like amazing goals and things to strive for, but if, especially for people who are super uncomfortable with mm -hmm. this piece, I like, I think and me personally, like I'm kind of, you know, the perfectionist too, like, oh, I only I called three people. Oh, now I didn't meet this goal. Mm -hmm. So then forget, I'll, you know, like I think it works with like eating too. Oh, I already ate a candy bar. I might as well have this bag of chips too. <laughs> you know, right. like once you mess up. Right. Absolutely. It's harder to get back. Absolutely. Ooh, there's that momentum again. <clears throat> I got mess up momentum. Yep. <laughs> There Once you go. You messed up, man. That, that's easy to keep <laughs> rolling, keep that ball rolling too. Yep. Um, that's why I got to go have a donut. 
That's, you know, I was just thinking you should. Um, I was just thinking that, um, and then get on. Thanks, Dave Stark. Dave, Dave Stark. Um, that's exactly what I feel like with this whole eating thing is that if I have a cookie and then I'm like, you know what? I already had one. I might as well have two more. Right. And then suddenly the next day I feel like complete crap because I had so much sugar and chocolate and flour that I don't usually eat. And then I'm like, why did I do that? I never feel good about that. Right. So then this, my one, my one word for the year is fitness. And, um, so then I can just think of that word and be like fitness. Like, is that, is that going to get me where I need to go? And so, I, I love that. And I would love to use that in, in my part of the story too, because that's the thing is like, if you, if you don't, it's always every, every day is a new day, right? Like the sun always comes up and we can always start over. And it's not like, well, yesterday I didn't make the call. So I probably, I'm just not gonna make them today either. Right. Mm -hmm. I already messed up this week, right? This week. And then you're like, well, this month, Oh, suddenly it's the whole year. Well, I'll just wait for next year. It's February, whatever, <laughs> right? Like we just yeah. rationalize so much with ourselves that to the point where it's like, if I was saying this out loud, people would be like, are you on crack? <laughs> like, come on lady. But it's, it's what happens. Did you, I tell you my word is fitness? No. Fitness pizza in my mouth. See, now that's what, that's exactly what my coach said to me. I was like, my word's fitness. She's like, yeah, fitness, fitness cookie in my mouth. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> sabotage. <laughs> but which is an interesting word too, is that we self-sabotage, right? Big so time. yeah, what we need to get done is like, wow. And that's why we have accountability partners and we have coaches and we have all these things because then it's, well, I can't really totally sabotage. I can't, I still have to write down that I ate these cookies. I still have to tell my coach that I didn't get the listing or whatever it is. Like I still have to do that because if we didn't have that, it, it would be tough. Right. And so then it's also when you feel like that sabotage is coming on, like, what is you just like, what's that word? What's that thing that's going to go, oh, yeah, no, I got to flip the switch here. And sometimes it's like, you know what? <laughs> this is a true story. It's 630. Pretty sure I'm just going to bed now. <laughs> right? Because it's like, I got to just start over. I'm just going to go to bed and it'll be fine. Right? Um, and like, would it probably be a better idea to fitness? Like go to the gym instead? Oh, for sure. Right? You got to do. 630? Well, you see the people in the gym at 630? <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, get there in the morning. Yes. Much better crowd. Yes. Um, so I think that, you know, that comes into play too, is, is what's your internal dialogue telling you. Right. And I've challenged people, write write down what you're telling yourself. And then the next time we do a one-on-one, -on -one, I want to hear what you're telling yourself and nobody likes that. Right. Yeah. People are like, ah, I don't want to. I don't know what, that makes yeah. me sweaty or, you know, cheap flight, buddy. one agent, like I was telling her on zoom and she like started to bite her shirt. She's like, that might make me cry. And I was like, you know what? It's okay. Oh, oh. Like they were sad. Yeah. I thought you was she like, was it was part out. of the fitness. No. Like they were hungry. You wouldn't no, me. she was. Cause I told her, I said, write down what you're oh. telling yourself. And then I, I want you to read it to me. Yeah, you probably wouldn't be your friend if your friend was your internal dialogue. You'd kick that person to the curb a long time ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, and, and the thing is, is just getting to that point where you, you hear it and you recognize it. Right. I had, a, I was telling um, somebody this earlier today, I had an agent this week and she's like, I'm sitting on the couch and my husband's sitting next to me. And in my head, I'm like, will you have a listing appointment tomorrow? you're, I mean, why are you even going? You're, you're not going to get it. You're not that good at listings. You haven't had a listing in a long time. And then she yelled at the, like super loud. No. And I was just like, 
because all of this was in journal, right? Except for the no. And he's like, are you okay? And she's like, oh. And so she verbalized all of it. And he's like, none of that is true. And she started rattling off all the stuff that she's had since, you know, January 1st, that's positive in her business. And he's like, none of that is, everything you were telling yourself is a total, total lie, right? And she kept doing it, even after I said, write it down. And then she read it to me. And then we went all through things. She, it's still, it's just like, it's that habit, right? It's like, how do we break that? Because it's super toxic to be telling yourself that, right? Creates a momentum of its own. Yeah that downward spiral we talk about, like, uh, you know, like I get into this and then I'm going down and down and I'm like, oh, screw it. Right. So, um, you know, knowing that you can reach out to any of us, like any of you together on the screen can reach out to each other because that's, what's going to help get you through it. And I was telling somebody else today and she said, it's so crazy how so many of us are going through the same thing. We just don't know it. And we think we're going through it alone. And then once you start to hear that somebody else is thinking this, it's like, oh, okay. So this is totally normal. This is how it goes, right? And this market is tough, right? Like how many listings are there? How many buyers are there? 8 million houses less than they're supposed to be. Right. How many Isn't that the number? 8 offers? million houses? Eight, I thought it was five. four. I don't know. It's also a lot of million. It's in the millions of houses, less than it's supposed to be. It was, is this. This was from Steve's um, thing yesterday from the team meeting. So this is new home construction. So if you look at this blue bar, this is historical. Is, average of new homes built. Here. Yep. Average of new homes built is 1,082. A month. Right. Then we go to... 2007, it's 1,046. Then 2008 drops down to 622. And you can see how it continues to go down, right? And then it starts to go back up. But the problem is, is that we need this historical amount to be happening every single year. And it's not. And so therefore, we have a, a lack when we, add, when we add up this to this, we have Four million homes that just were all never... this black space is houses that didn't get built. That yeah. if they were here right now, that would be really helpful. But they're not. They don't exist. They right. literally weren't made. And what um, Steve's point was when when you're talking to somebody and they're saying, "Why is the inventory so low?" Inventory is low because over the past thirteen years, we've been underbuilding what mm -hmm. the historical average was. And that amount that's been underbuilt is still required. I mean, the, the, right. the humans who would occupy that space didn't go away too. They just have had to stay where they're at. So, and, and I mean, how many years would we have to be at literally double the normal production? It'd be like seven years we have to be at double normal production to catch up. Right. So we're going to run this shortage for a while. Now, one of the things he indicated that is a positive move, if you, and you've probably seen it, are the number of uh, like senior housing developments where there's multiple units in that, that, that is helping, you know, can help, but we're so far behind mm -hmm. over this timeline that, you know, and the United States keeps growing, Minneapolis keeps growing, everything keeps growing that's where a big part of the problem was. And it's even hard now, even if we wanted to build more homes, now you can't get supply of materials. It's hard to get sheetrock. It's hard to get lumber. It's hard to get people to do the work. So now you've got all kinds of challenges and problems that are keeping that, that market kind of in this place where it feels like it's hard to get a listing. Um, and to be clear, it probably does feel like that, but there are people getting them and anybody who gets a listing could be you. So how do you make sure that it is you is the real question. And that's the actions you take. You know, it doesn't really matter what anybody else does. It only matters what you do. You're the right. only person you can control 
and your actions and output is only controllable by you. So the fact that um, somebody over at EXP is struggling right now isn't really my problem. <laughs> right. right. And, and to kind of tie it into what is happening in our uh, in, in the world in other facets is because of COVID, the shortage of certain things that weren't produced for that time frame, the three to six months or whatever it was. And we're feeling it now that there's material shortages, there's food shortages, right? And it's it takes time to affect us, right? Because we use up what we have. And then you go to the store now and you're like, why is the big one I've heard of is why is there no cream cheese? Well, we won't have it till March right? In January. And I'm like, what? That's a thing? And it's like, well, certain areas, yeah, like Irene cannot get cream cheese anywhere. <laughs> and I'm like, Georgia, yeah, doesn't have cream cheese. But, you know, when when you think of that, it's like people just instantly go, hey, this is, this is a problem and we have these shortages, but what is it from? It's from something that happened. And this was, you know, the worst year was 2011. And when it really started happening was like 2008 is when it dropped like seven to eight kind of not half but close to half right and so when those things happen it takes time for it to affect us and look how much longer how much later it's affecting us because there's no way for us to catch up right oh look at the dog somebody's getting marked someone's getting marked oh my yeah. god <laughs> sorry he's like scratching at the door wanting to be my <laughs> <laughs> momentum she has momentum or he yeah. um yeah he so he'd be a marker he is oh my god he's a marker so just kidding thank god he's not yet <laughs> so um so tell me tell me what what you guys um like what are your thoughts on all of this and you know how how we can help you or if there's any resources that you would like or if you just want to talk about it right all the stuff that's we brought up today is there like a central location for kind of like um like new speaking points like just the one that you were talking about like i had to miss the meeting but is there like a place that like like a quick easy stop to like know um, yeah, three interesting things I learned this month that you can tell your clients or, you know, just like the, I mean, I see Steve's, uh, you know, kind of his, there's a lot of data in that, yeah. Path, but, yeah. um, just some like really interesting stuff that I could bring up in conversations, you know, at tennis, you know, kind of something. Yeah, like yeah, absolutely. So, um, that's a super good point. So this is, um, from Gary vision, Gary vision, Gary Keller's vision speech in, um, 2019. So basically what he does at family reunion and at mega camp is he will kind of do a state of the market. Um, and we can, we can get like, everybody can get those slides, um, after they present a family reunion on, um, probably KW connect. I don't know. I got here in October friend. Okay. Well, somewhere I know what's available. Because what I do is I always just take pictures and then people are like, you know, that's available on KW Connect. And I'm like, no. probably connect. If you haven't been to kwconnect.com mm -hmm. um, recently, you probably did it when you onboarded. But kw kwconnect.com has a lot of great resources uh, underneath the tabs that run along the top. Yeah. And, and so, um, the weird thing is, is that his vision speech is Sunday. And so we usually do like a live stream, but like a live stream on Sunday in the office, like that's not a thing, right? Nobody's coming to that. Um, so uh, we will like next week, we won't be doing this um, on a topic uh, or a, a module we'll be doing talking about family reunion. So um, we're gonna bring back talking points for you. And then that'll end up happening in the team meeting as well. Um, but it is fascinating stuff. Like he is like, that's why they call it the vision speech, right? Like he's accurate five years out. Right. And you can have something will happen. And then like, when he's like, we're going to be a technology or technology company. Right. 
And then COVID happened and it was like, well, thank God we are a technology company because look at all the things that could have gone in the toilet because we weren't, right? Um, so yes, and then what we'll do is um, we, can, um, we can do two things. We can have like a folder created or we could have, I, Irene could easily add stuff to your um, folders, uh, your Google drives or Google folder, um, but we can also have it located somewhere I, he knows where, but I don't, but some, some technology related. There'll be all kinds of answers. Yes. Like it'll be posted on Facebook or yeah. just go make videos of it. Oh, yes. I she'll do, do that. that. Hey, look, we got another, another As friend a dog. up in the top corner. She joined in earlier today. <laughs> she was like licking Taylor's whole head. <laughs> He's so sick of me being on the couch. So. <laughs> it's my <out>. spot. <laughs> So, um, so yeah, um, is there anything that you guys, I know Jason has asked this on, on Facebook and he mentioned it at the meeting yesterday. Is there anything that you guys would like to know about? It's a pretty open-ended question. It's really a big question. Um, but you know, when we go, we want to represent you. Yeah. What were you gonna say, Amy? Well, if this, isn't, this isn't a question about family reunion, but I just started watching the webinar for the MLS changeover. You go. And so I like went in, like I was following, but I was on the old. So I have to update the old, make sure everything's correct in the old, or I have to go to the new and then do. Go to the new, your contacts will transfer over. In the new, if you have clients who currently have searches mm -hmm. or automated emails, you will have to go in the new MLS to save and, searches. And okay, and yeah, but I got be a to list that part. Of all of your saved searches, some of them will be imported AE, which is imported auto email, and some will be imported SS, which is imported saved search. The imported AEs which will be at the top of the list, you'll need to click on the individual people or the individual searches. Uh, then underneath that, a little bar will appear and you'll type set or you'll click on settings. And if you want to continue to send them that email, you'll collect, you'll click the box up top, which says save as auto email. If you do that, it will open up a whole nother dialogue, which is exactly similar to the original dialogue you open up when you create the search, but okay. it will save the parameters for the search. Now let's say, Amy, that you have a search and it's going to Grace every week right now. And Grace has been at this for a, a, like six months and she's been busy and typing in little likes and hearts and clicking on stuff. When you send her the new email in the new system, all of those will no longer be there. And that might be very sad for Grace. So if I was an enterprising young agent, I'm an enterprising old agent, but if I was an enterprising young agent, I would contact my, my people, let them know that there's a change to the system. The change to the system will now direct them to one home when they find properties. Mm -hmm. When they go to one home, it will give them the opportunity to, to look at things again, but it will be a much easier to use interface than the one they're used to now and will give them much more freedom in terms of what they choose and how they choose to do it. Does that answer the? I think so. And then, and then make sure you change your settings. So if you have any pre-set up settings like your email address or the banner or how you want your signature to look, that stuff all will need to be updated as well. But those are the two major things. Um, if you are a power MLS user and you have multiple, multiple, multiple settings and searches and stuff like that, like let's say you were the type of Not person me. to produce a massive spreadsheet oh. and send it out to thousands of email, thousands of emails every Wednesday. <laughs> and it was such a big deal. You named the thing after yourself. <laughs> you're going to have a lot of challenges because you've got a lot of things to move into the new thing. He's not but, here. Okay. But if you're just a regular Joe, it's pretty, it's pretty, you know, it, it's tedious, but easy to do time consuming. Yes. Hard. No. no. 
Okay. And it Great has question. to be done by the 22nd. No. 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 If you do this in the new system right now, it will send two emails to all of your clients because the old system is still working and the new system is working. Email, 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 email. And then you'll say, why are my people getting so mad about all the emails? On the 23rd, the new system starts. So you can wait till the 23rd and do everybody. You can do them today, but you have to delete them from the old system when you enter them into the new system. So they only get one, but make sure they're only in one place. Here or there, there or here, but need not both, both bad. <laughs> Sounds good. Can I redo it? For me? Can I redo it? Can she do it for me? I don't know. Oh. What can I redo for you? I don't know. Well. Is she like UPS? What can Brown do for me today? Well, I told, I asked her to do it and she's like, you're going to need to watch this and you're going to need to do it. I'm like, I'm going to be in Florida. I don't know what your relationship is with Irene. That's <laughs> I like her to do things that I don't want to do. That's the I'd be willing to bet. And while you're in there, this is a fantastic time. I might mention it's a fantastic time for, and most you guys are new enough that you probably don't have this, but there's probably like old agents, like my wife who have like 900 saved searches just laying around there for inactive clients. Since you're moving them anyway, it's a great time to clean that up get rid of them if they're not valid or not useful anymore just let them go delete them, let them you're go. in there anyway they don't need to know anymore they're done how they've about, already got a home well how about people who never requested to be off of it and they still look at it because i can see on the report that they looked at it yesterday i still want to transfer that right well duh all right if they're your okay. friends and they keep looking at it sure right they see my face every day what? Maybe you should just make a new 36 touch program and not rely on the other people to do that. On the other hand, and I'll say this because I, I you know, I'm, I'm the command guy, right? If you set the search up in command for them when you made them a contact, which you can do, and their search was coming out of command, you wouldn't be doing any of this right now. Just, <gasps> just saying, be easier. What? Yeah, you can make a search in command fully customizable but it's not from the mls is it command pulls from mls friend what we made it need a tutorial step it's by step blowing up. my mind mind <laughs> blown <laughs> <laughs> yeah we need a we need a yeah we need a class on that we need not to, not for we need, everybody we need to learn on command just for this group right here well and, and really honestly it's a much better advantage for you guys to learn about that stuff anything I, what we can talk about in command right you don't have to change as, as much um where you know steve he's got he's got a lot of work to do i mean then that's uh that's cool and he loves it that's why he's doing it he loves it. he's passionate he about that stuff he does love so it. while he likes to sit in the back and maybe complain about all the work it's really one of those complaints like man i hate doing this and then you know he really it's secretly uh couldn't be happier right now uh, with all the things he gets to tinker around with right okay so i have to tell you guys um we were we what we, we used to be doing was like four four classes for buyers four classes for Oh, you're on you're on that side. Here you go. Four four classes for sellers and then database. And so um what are you doing? I don't know. You're talking. Don't worry about me. Okay. Um what I want to figure out is we have okay. So for the other group, what I was doing was at the end of the nine weeks, like week number nine, we were going to do a dinner and you guys would all come into the office fitness dinner in my mouth fitness um you'd come into the office we'd do our four to five in person and then um we would have dinner and then we would i would do the 5 30 to 7 30 with them but it's a, it's they would have to be here at or maybe we wouldn't even do four we'd just meet at five whatever it's whatever and then but everybody's together Right, so you all get to meet each other. We get to eat. Um, leadership will be here, and then it was kind of like the happy hour that we did, 
a couple times. Um, and so the real goal is just so that you get to meet leadership in person. Um, you get to meet each other in person and then probably we'll do it once a quarter and it'll be like a potluck. So we'll just say who wants to bring, you know, like we'll whatever, you know, organize it. Um, and and I'm thinking that's going to be in March if we were going to do this by a quarterly theme. So um, is there anybody who has, I know this is like opening up a can of worms, but in March, um, are there certain, like would the, oh my God, it's St. Patrick's Day. Would St. Patrick's Day work for everyone? Huh. I'll be in St. Peter. You'll be in St. Peter? Yeah, they have a thing. Oh, that's right. It can't be that night. Oh my God. You go down to St. Peter too? Yeah, we can all go. It's yeah. an open house for Amber Seaver. Um, so we, I know Amy, you're in Mexico on the 10th and I'm in Mexico on the 21st. Yeah. What about the 31st? It's like the last day of March. Um, Guys, so I know what, that works. <laughs> so what we do is just, um, I'll talk to the other group tonight and we'll kind of see if that's a good date and then I'll get you more details, but I feel like we're over a month away. So I think it'll be fine, but, um, and then we can do it. Oh, look at Jason. What a guy. So that's exciting. Okay. And we're over our time. So you have to hurry, but I see, I time block this as my dinner and I already ate. Uh, if you came on at four o'clock, you know that because I was eating <laughs> my Brussels sprouts. So you guys, I don't even, if I don't have it, I don't even crave sugar. Like now, like if I smell it, but I don't <laughs> chocolate, if I smell chocolate, I'm like. So you can search by neighborhood, search for location, set your property criteria, min max, keywords, pool, property types, listing types, bedroom, bathroom, etc. And you can get, and you go through all that stuff. Holy cats, I'm looking at your screen and not mine. <laughs> it's like, what's happening? Why can't they do this? <laughs> um, but like, I got this one here. That's my test search. Yeah, let's see. Well, like, what it, does it show you what it looks like? Like what people get? Avon Lee. Yeah. Oh, I'm, my. I'm, I got, and I don't care how much it costs. As long <laughs> as it's got four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Uh, Jason test search. That's super cool. So I what I always recommend always yelling, what I recommend is you go through and do it yourself. Um, set it up and set one up for yourself. Use criteria, whatever you like, send it to an email that works for you. Get used to using that because it's all set up there in command for you under each individual contact. Um, and then you don't even have to log into MLS Ever. unless you find there's certain things in MLS that work for you and the important thing is always do what works for you so this won't be like zillow where we get notified late that something is like our client sees it and they're like and i go look it up on the mls and it's like oh it's sold maybe you can get it from mls and you, your client calls you and says i saw it on mls and you go oh it's sold right I'm just, I'm just knowing from just the past that when people rely on Zillow and then I look it up, it is not there, right? And the other concern was when I use my app, I would have clients say to me, oh, I found this on your app. Can you tell me more about it? And it wasn't up to date and it was sold and it was using my KW app. So then I was like, well... Well, back in 68, we used to ride dinosaurs to work. Right. Things are different. Right, right. I guess. I guess. Okay. Get with the time, sister. Get with the time. So do you guys have any questions on this? Or is anybody going to try this out? At least try it out on yourself. The answer is yes. I am trying it out on myself. That's your homework for next week. I'm going to try it. Quick question about the recordings. Uh -huh. Um, how do I get this recording from today? Where do I go? Um, I am very hopeful. I will have it uploaded by tomorrow before I leave. That's my priority is to get all the zoom, all them loaded, but you have to go to KWPR dashboard 
skip and down at the bottom? Yeah, it well, no. Um, KWPR YouTube. Zoom recordings. To be here, and this is all of them. I don't know if I'm logged in as myself for the thing. I might be logged in as an administrator, so it doesn't necessarily look like this. Are they labeled like PC coaching level two? Yeah. And okay. Yeah, there are playlists in there for different uh, things. Oh my God, delete that one. That's when I had COVID. That's why we kept it. K score recruit meeting, January 14th. Oh my God. Save to playlist. <laughs> delete it. Watch it later. <laughs> okay, I know how to get to this place. Okay. And I don't, honestly, I think it's because I'm logged in wrong that it looks like this. Okay. Because normally it doesn't look like this at all. Yeah, usually it's, it goes the other way, doesn't it? Yeah, it like, looks like a normal. Like that. Yeah. Oh my okay. God. Now you're playing it? So perfect. Oh, I like your hat. <laughs> 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 oh my God, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> Slowly, one fingernail at a time, pulling them out. <laughs> Wow. All right, guys, are you done? I'm done. Okay. All right. So that's your homework. Send a set up a search for yourself, and then um, you know if there's anything that you're thinking you would like to know about at family reunion, let us know. Send me a text. Send Jason a text. One that I think I saw. I'm pretty sure I saw was what are the uh, tips and tricks to working with friends and family. <laughs> right i'm like yeah that's a, that's a good one okay uh, we're gonna stop because we're otherwise so we're gonna watch secret. this and guy <laughs> watch <laughs> YouTube. All, right. all right see you later bye guys thank you bye. Bye. i'll be in montana on the 31st you'll be in montana mm -hmm. can you come back just for the meeting <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, Tom and Jerry. Have fun. All right. All right. Have a good night, everybody. Thanks, guys. Yep. Bye. Sure.